the Kunene region in Namibia is home to some of the most ancient fauna and flora known to mankind. And perhaps one of the most ancient is the black rhinoceros. Distinguishable from the white rhino by its prehensile hook-type lip, the desert black rhino of the Kunene is the same species as other black rhino in Africa, Diceros bicornis, meaning two horn in Latin and Greek. Solitary and shy animals by nature, these ancient beasts are distressed easily. In contrast to areas with more cover, if startled and on the move in this desolate terrain, the Kunene black rhino have been known to run for kilometers before feeling secure and finally coming to rest. Sporting a horn worth more than its weight in gold, this prehistoric animal has for years been persecuted and slaughtered for this protrusion of compressed hair that some believe has healing and aphrodisiac qualities. A rhino's horn is not a true horn that is attached to its skull like other ungulates. It grows from the skin and is made up of keratin fibers, the same material found in human hair and nails. Desert black rhinos travel alone, except while breeding or raising a calf. Juveniles remain with their mother until they are completely weaned, usually just before a new calf is born. Rhinos have adapted well to desert life, and their thick layered skin protects the animal from sharp grasses and thorns. Their thick padded soles absorb the shock, which is especially useful when running on the hot, rocky desert ground. They can reach up to 45 kilometers per hour when charging an enemy. Rhinos have poor eyesight, but large ears rotate to pick sounds from all directions. Although seemingly indestructible, a rhino's skin is actually quite sensitive, especially to sunburn and biting insects. Black rhinos are herbivores and predominantly browsers, which means that they depend on trees and bushes for all their nutritional needs. In the Namib, they favor a shrub called a milkbos, which in English means milk bush, the name coming from a thick white liquid in the bush from which these desert rhino get most of their nutrition. One of the main characteristics between a black and white rhino is that the juvenile of the black rhino always follows behind, unlike the calf of a white which leads. Black rhino are often unpredictable and due to their poor eyesight will usually first charge at any unfamiliar sound or smell and then investigate later. Rhinos cool off by sweating, thereby losing moisture which needs to be replenished. For normal rhinos with easy access to water, this is no problem. But for the desert rhino with limited water supply, moisture needs to be topped up via its food intake. Desert rhinos sleep lying on their sides with legs underneath or while standing. They are least active in the midday heat and alternately feed and rest throughout the day and night. This large, odd-toed animal, who has been around for more than 30 million years, ventured into this harsh desert to find and take refuge from those who would take its life and cut from its one-ton body a prize weighing no more than 25 kilograms. In the end, their existence has been ensured by the same species that lust after their horns.